Little Miss Contrary and The Confused Guest Roger Hargreaves Little Miss Wise had been invited to spend the weekend with Little Miss Contrary. She was very excited. It was the first time she had ever visited her. When Little Miss Wise arrived, she could hardly hide her surprise. She had never seen a house quite like Little Miss Contrary's house. Have you ever seen a house like that before? I'm sure I haven't. Goodbye, said Little Miss Contrary, opening the door. Do come out and have a drink, she continued, letting Miss Wise in. Poor Little Miss Wise was terribly confused. And just look at the house inside. Have you ever seen anything like it? Little Miss Contrary poured her friend a glass of sweets. I do hope you don't like it, she smiled. Poor little Miss Wise was more confused than ever. A little later they went for a walk in the garden. Little Miss Wise thought she must be dreaming. The trees were growing upside down and the grass was blue. What a horrible day, said little Miss Contrary as the sun shone down on her umbrella. Of course, you and I know that Little Miss Contrary lives in Muddle Land. And in Muddle Land, the worms live in trees. And in Muddle Land, the birds live in holes in the ground. Just then, it started to rain. Little Miss Contrary closed her umbrella. What lovely weather we're having, she said. Little Miss Wise began to wonder if Little Miss Contrary was playing a trick on her. Back at the house, Little Miss Wise was fed up. That's enough teasing, she said crossly. I'm tired. I think I'd like to go to bed now. But before you do, said Little Miss Contrary, put your hat under the Christmas tree so that Father Christmas knows that you're here and he will leave you a present. A Christmas tree? Father Christmas? In the middle of summer? This was too much for Little Miss Wise and she hurried off to bed. Little Miss Contrary, who'd had a lovely day with her friend, went to her bed and slept very well, with her alarm clock ringing in her ears. But with all that noise, somebody didn't sleep well that night. Can you guess who? That's right, poor Little Miss Wise. What a terrible noise, and what a terribly confusing day. She grumbled to herself. I don't understand it at all. The next morning, Good night, said Little Miss Contrary. You look so fresh and well rested this evening. Little Miss Wise did not feel at all fresh and well rested. She hadn't slept a wink all night. Then, to her surprise, Little Miss Wise noticed something under the Christmas tree. Wrapping paper. Yes, that's right, wrapping paper, but without any presents at all. And later, when she went outside, she saw all the dustbins in Muddleland full of presents. Whatever next? Little Miss Wise thought it would be best to go home a little earlier than planned. She waved goodbye to Little Miss Contrary. Hello, cried Little Miss Contrary. 
please don't come again i won't said little miss wise to herself well not without my earplugs in any case thank you for listening